I'm Ty Reichert. This is Redwood.Fish. Hey, what's up guys? Ty here from Redwood.Fish. Heading out to the coast to do some crab snaring. It's raining right now. I have about a 45 minute drive. I'm confident that the rain's gonna stop. That's what the forecast says. Anyways, I'm in the new adventure vehicle. It's a Ram 2500 truck. It's new, we bought it from Kentucky, had it shipped to California. It just got here the other day. I'm so excited to show you guys the truck, but we're gonna outfit it too. I wanna like get a tent for the bed, get a mattress for back here. Let's check it out real quick. This is the inside. It's got four wheel drive. It's a big old motor in it. I got my gear in the back. The seats fold up really well. I've got a nice bed in the back, but it's raining right now. So I'm gonna throw my gear back there. Fishing poles, jackets, cooler. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I wanna gear it up for adventures. I wanna turn this into like an overland vehicle. And this is the base. This is the starting point. Super stoked about it. So, yep. Let's go, let's go adventure. I'll see you guys out at the coast in two minutes. What's going on guys? All right, I'm trying out this Frog Togs jacket. It's raining right now, I'm going crab snaring. Let me do a quick pano. You know where I am if you know where I live. So yep, we'll be hiking down this trail. This rain is supposed to pass in a little while. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Trying to remember which trail I need to take down. Um, anyways, yeah, so I have chicken, squid, perch that I caught on the last trip. I'm gonna take this trail right here. I haven't been able to get out much. Whoa. Um, I haven't been able to get out fishing much. We've been super busy. So Thanksgiving just passed. It's December, early December. Finally, the rain's hitting Northern California really well, which is good because we need it big time. Uh, but you know, that hampers fishing. So I'm, I've finally got myself out here, brought the new truck on the first adventure. I don't see a lot of people crab snaring from up here. So that's a good sign. Here's where I'm looking. And I'm on this secondary farther jetty, which is even less busy too. So a couple things, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really curious to see how the Frog Togs jacket holds up. I don't even know what material this is. Some kind of material I've never seen before. I wonder if it's made from something recycled or something like that. Anyway, so we'll see if it stays waterproof. If I stay warm enough, I'll stay out here. If not, if not, I'm gonna get out of here. Come back another day soon when it when it's um, not raining or I have different gear on. So anyways, we'll check back in a few minutes. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I get a couple Dungeness crab. That would be the ideal situation. Uh, okay, sounds good. We'll see you down at the jetty. First cast, got a crab on it. Let's go, I'm gonna measure this guy up. All right, first, first, first crab, barely made a limit, five and three quarters, just touched it on the edge. If I catch a few bigger ones, I'll let that one go. If I have a slow day, I'm gonna keep that one. It's a keeper, we haven't caught any yet this year. Anyways, I just wanted to show you really quick what I'm using for bait striped perch that I caught the other day. I cut the head off and I put it inside the crab snare. I know it's kind of gross. I wanted to do something different than what we traditionally do with chicken. I wanted to use actual fish. I found that this sometimes works better. A good stinky fish. Um, it's like good stinky chicken down there at the bottom that the crabs will go for it. But uh, yeah, so, so far so good. I'm soaking wet. I'm Ty Reichert, and this is Redwood.Fish, and I'm crab fishing, and there's no better place I'd rather be except on the baseball field with my pioneers or at home with my kids and my wife. That's about it. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, let's 
Let's see if I got one on here. One for two right now. Nope. Doesn't feel heavy. Feels light. Looks like just kelp, so I'm gonna rebate. Seagrass kelp. Not what I'm going for. So it's important to rebate out here because that smell is the indicator to those crabs. They're not just visual. They can sense that dead fish in the water and come right to it. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Oh, let me show you really quick. I got my uh, turf shoes on again today. These things are amazing out here. They're kind of waterproof, but they have a tremendous grip, so I can move pretty easily. Pretty soaking wet, although this jacket kept me pretty warm. Good job, frog togs. It's got all kinds of pockets and super warm, see? And a hood on it, too. So it kept me warm today. I'm good to go. I'm going to reel in my pole and uh, hopefully there's a crab on it. We only got the one keeper so far. So far. So let's head back and do a catch and cook. Okay, we've got this male Dungeness crab here. This guy was just five and three quarters. Um, you can tell it's a male because the abdomen, this underneath piece right here, is long and thin. A female crab has a wider rounded abdomen. The male has this thin one. So it's really easy to tell the difference once you know what you're looking for. We usually throw the females back. You can keep female crabs in California, but for the last year or so, we have a practice here at our house that we throw the females back and we just keep the males. We want those females to keep reproducing more crab. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this crab really quick and I probably won't show the video of pulling it apart, but I'll show the video of cooking it because I don't want to upset, upset the new rules with kids watching videos. Okay, what we're going to do is just steam this crab. We're not going to boil it in a pot of water. A lot of people like to boil it. I like to steam it, especially if it's just one crab right here and not very big. So I'm going to put a little bit of water at the bottom of this pan. That's kind of a lot. About that much is good. I'll set it aside right here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white distilled vinegar in there. And it gives it a nice little taste. It's like a little bit of tanginess to it. A little bit of a vinegar taste and it makes the crab meat taste really good. So uh, I recommend you try it, it would be good. Okay, I'm gonna take that pan out to uh, the little cooktop outside and we'll cook this guy. set this pot of water on here. Let's get that sucker boil in here in a minute. And uh, let me go ahead and grab the crab and throw it in too. Okay, so what we'll do now is cook that crab for about 10 to 12 minutes. I did catch that crab, bring it home, freeze it for a night, so it's still a little bit frozen. So I'll probably, I'll probably stay on the side of about 15 minutes, but I'll check it and I'll be able to tell when it's ready. So we'll be right back with freshly cooked crab that was caught two days ago in Northern California off the Sonoma County coast. I'm Ty Reichert, this is Redwood Duffish. Okay, crab is cooked and ready to eat. Coop, what do you think? Is it good? All right, they made quick work of that crab. If you do like this video, hit that subscribe button right here. 
uh, or here. And uh, that way you can stay in tune and follow our channel. Uh, it's free to subscribe. And basically what it's saying is, is that you will get updated when you'll get notified when a new video is posted so you can see our latest videos. Okay, right on. I'm Ty Reichert. I'm out. Stripe perch. Sometimes stripe perch works really good. Sometimes when it's raining, it's the right time to come out.